Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, Anatoly here yet again, and today I'm going to show you how I do the eye things in 3ds Max for the TF2 models. So as you can see, this is the eye. Yes, this is what it looks like when you render it. With no lights, with nothing set up. It has the materials for V-Ray set up, and it's actually as is anatomically correct as I care to make, so it has the pretty much all the major parts that one would care about. So this is the target. When you yeah, when you move it, the eye looks at it. So this is awesome, right? The eye is a group, so it has several objects which are made into a group, which you can open and see all the stuff. So this is the eye white. The cornea and the iris, right? So the iris is this thingy. Cornea. I'm not sure if you pronounce it that way, but I'm going to pronounce it like this. Cornea is the transparent thingy on the eye, and the eye white is obviously the eye white. Yes, indeed. So the the way this works is there's a look at constraint applied to the eye white inside the group so if you want to change it you'll have to open the group and then you link the group to the bone you want it to follow so I'm going to demonstrate this on the medic example right here I've already done this once but my recorder thingy didn't record the sound so I'll have to do this again so let us just open this medic SMD again okay so what we have here is a freshly imported medic SMD file. Now let's go to editable mesh polygon and hide the eyes that the model has right now because we're not going to need those. Don't delete them though because if you delete them your flexes are not going to work because there's going to be a different amount of polygons in this thing and that's not going to be lovely now, is it? Hide this. And just select everything that the eye is and then just hide it. That's as simple as it is. Alright. Just to check that I didn't select anything that wasn't needed. Okay. Hide. If you want to hide. Yes. Alright, so now we're going to merge this with our I file. I01, everything. Okay. Okay. So now here is our I. Although most likely it's going to be way too big. I'm not sure why when I made it the dimensions were the same, but. You never know. Dope. Yeah, it's like way too big. So I suggest making this, um, say, 40% of the way it used to be. Now just align it manually. Ideally, the way you do this would be unhide the before you hide the eyes, aligning it with the default eye, right? But for the sake of this demonstration, I'm just going to be an idiot and eyeball it. Okay. Uh, so this looks all right, I guess. Yes, it does. And it renders all right. But now, if you look at this, when we rotate the head, nothing happens because this is... What the fuck is wrong with this? Why is the model not... Oh, yes. Because I'm still in polygon mode, of course. Hold, yes. Okay, back to skin. Yeah, don't align this thing where you, when you select the eye because you're going to have a bad time. Alright. So just move.
remove the eye again, align it with the uh, head. Caveman much. For the sake of this demonstration, I'm not going to make it perfectly aligned. Just good enough to illustrate the point. Okay, now select the link thingy right here and link it to the head bone. So this is the valve bone bib head. And now it moves with the head and it keeps looking at the lookout constraint as you can see. If you so desire, you can link the dummy as well. But this pretty much works as it should, as you can see. Okay, so now what if something goes wrong, the constraint breaks, or you accidentally delete the dummy or something like that? Well, apart from the undo, here's what you can do. Oh, that rhymed. Okay, go to rotation. Ah, yeah, there's no constraint right now. Okay. So what you do is go to help us make a dummy right just in a random place right now okay oh my that is a big fucking dummy isn't it okay all right so now we want that eye to look at this dummy right here so what do we do we open the group Select the eye white object. Eye white. Animation. Rotation. Um, controllers, yes. Look at constraint. Then select the dummy. So now it's looking at the dummy, which is good. The thing is, if this is a new look at, for example, you don't have a look at here, you're going to have a bad time. Why? Because when you go and constrain it to the thing, it's going to look in a random direction and you're not going to like that. So basically what you want to do is tick this little box right here, keep initial off offset, and then it's going to look at the dummy properly. But now it's a bit misaligned because I have rotated it before, so it's a bit derpy as you can see. Okay, so this should cover it. This is the way you do it. And yeah, have fun. Make awesome stuff. Show it to me. Thanks for watching.